Hi, welcome to the SQL tutorial video and today's video is going to be uh, about some aggregate functions. Specifically, we're going to look at count, max, min, sum and average. So this video is going to show everybody in the AdventureWorks database, all of the customers that have placed orders. It's going to show how many orders they've placed, the latest order date, the earliest order date, the total value of those orders, and the average of those orders. So to start with, I looked at the sales table. So if I just do select star from sales dot sales order header. This table has all the information on all of the orders placed in this database. It's the header table. There's also a detail table which goes into the uh, granular level of, of each of the orders, but this is the the um, the summary table, if you like, for each order. So we've got the sales order ID, which is fine, but I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in is people who have placed orders. So along here, we've got this customer ID. That's what I'm interested in. Um, We've got an order date, which I'm interested in also, and we've got a total value or a total due here that I'm interested in. So I'm gonna give this a, a, an alias. Um, by the way, before I go any further, I have done other videos on functions. I'll include some uh, links in the description of this one. Kind of an introduction to functions, including aggregate functions, um, which might be of interest to you. So from this table, I'm going to join to the customer table, um, which is in the sales schema, customer. What the customer table, uh, the information that the customer table includes, hold on a second, if I just say get me the top 1,000, um, if we look at the customer table, it's got these links, um, customer ID, person ID, store ID. So it doesn't actually have the, the name of the customer in here. For that, I need to go to the person table. So if I do another join, if I go to person, um, dot person, unfortunately the join here, um, if I do, um, person ID, the join here on the person table is not person ID, it's business entity ID. Um, but if I now run this, uh, and if we go across here now, you can see that there is uh, the names of our customers. So what I want to see is our customer's first name, our customer's last name, and then to start with, I want to see how many um, orders they've placed. And for that, I'm going to do a count. Actually, before I do that, let me just try and let me just put in, um, if I run this, <clears throat> you've got people's names here and you've got their orders. So that's not kind of what I want to see. I, I don't want to see that person's name three times. I want to see it once and I want it, I want it to say, rather than the order ID, I want it just to say however many orders they've placed. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to use the count function. Now when I try and run this, it's going to fail. It's going to bring me an error. And that is because um, when you do aggregate functions, what it does is it takes some columns and shows them only once and other data it, it aggregates. So in this case, it's going to do a, a count based on these two specific columns that I'm returning. In order to do that, I need to group by these columns. So I'm just going to add the clause group by, include those two column names here. And if I run that again, we'll now start getting data. And I can order by those columns as well. Um, okay, that's that's pretty good. I'll give this um, column um, a 
an alias, so we'll call it orders. Then I want to see the latest order date um, for each customer. So for that, I can use the max. Now, max then um, in here, you need to give it some sort of expression that it can use as a max. So the, the order date is what I'm interested in here because um, uh, it is as a date, you can get the latest date or the earliest date or whatever. Max works with dates, works with numbers. If you did it for an alphabetical column, it will bring you the, based on the alphabet, it will bring you the latest uh, value. But what I'm interested in here is the order date, which I think is that. And I'll just put an alias of latest. If I run that, we now get the latest date. And if I do min with that same column and we'll call it earliest that is the earliest date so you can see for this first customer here they made an order on the 31st of July 2013 then their latest order was the 1st of May 2014 um, and then I'm going to do a sum and Sum then, quite obviously, will sum uh, numeric values. So in this, I'm going to do, I think it's total due. Um, and we'll put total value. And then I've got another function that I can use called AVG. And what that does is it averages based on a particular column. And I'm going to do the same column as the sum. So if I do an average of total due, what kind of what you should see here is you've got three orders with a total of 3,400 and pence. Um, so the average be that divided by three which you can see um, kind of is and if we just do that that the average should be that divided by two and you can see that works <clears throat> um, so these are looking at um, everything in, in that table um, you can uh, you can add where clauses to kind of limit the data that you're returning um, so maybe you'll say I'm only interested in where the uh, order date is within 2014 or something. So we, we could kind of tweak that. Um, so we can say where year sh dot order date equals 2014. And what that will do is you'll see now um, that first uh, customer there had three orders previously, but obviously there are only two in 2014. And there's the first date and there's the last date. And some have disappeared altogether because they didn't have any orders in 2014. So this little where clause here limits the data before applying all of these aggregates here above. So if I get rid of that. Um, what we can also do is we can do some sort of condition based on the aggregate um, columns. So let's say I'm only interested in those customers that have placed more than five orders. And to do that, what we can't do is say where count is greater than five. Um, when you're dealing with aggregates and you're trying to do um, conditions based on those aggregates, you don't do them in where, you do them in having. And you can see you've got um, the, the error itself says you need to use the having clause. So the having clause goes after the group and before the order, and we'll say having count greater than five, and that will be accepted. And there you can now see that we're only seeing values returned for those customers that have placed more than five orders. Uh, one last thing to mention as well um, is the group by having an order by, you've got to put them in a specific order. So if I tried to put my group by down here, it won't like it. And if I try and run that, it'll say, well, you can't, you can't do that. It doesn't really help you. The incorrect syntax doesn't really help you. What, what it does mean is you've got your, um, you've got these three uh, 
in the wrong order. So if I choose having and I put it after the order by, it won't work again. So you've got to have them in a specific order. And very helpfully, the order, if you think about it, it's alphabetical, G-H-O. Group by goes first, followed by having, followed by order by, in alphabetical order. As long as you put those in that order, your syntax will work. That's the end of this tutorial on aggregate functions. I hope you find it helpful. Any feedback or comments is appreciated. Thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.